chosen to talk about a small object from a Roman period site. This object is very tiny, it's made out of copper alloy and would have originally been part of a two-piece mortar and pestle set. This is the mortar and you can see inside the groove that goes along the entire length. It's got a very distinct crescent shape. The pestle would have been rod-like and would have had a loop terminal which you could have suspended both it, it, it from and there would have been a loop possibly on the underside of this item. Both these items were designed to be portable so that they could be taken by threading on braid and attached to the belt. It's believed that this particular item and others like it are of late Iron Age and early Roman date and they have been found in cemeteries. There is an example found in London from a grave at Blossom Inn and that particular cosmetic grinding set was found with a set of tweezers and nail cleaners which suggests that the items were used for beautification or, or body care. There is evidence from contemporary Roman writers that these cosmetic sets were popular not just in Britain. This particular design with the crescent shape was a very insular design but across the Roman world they used stone pallets and bronze rods. Roman writers tended to be quite disdainful about the use of cosmetics by both men and women to retain their youthful looks and there's evidence from a poet called Propertius that Roman ladies were copying Britons um, and he says do you even imitate the Britons now stained with woe you crazy girl and play games with foreign glitter and I love this idea of Roman ladies copying British women from across the seas. Um, even after the Roman conquest, these little cosmetic sets retained popularity and were used alongside the rods and the more traditionally Roman paraphernalia of stone pallets, glass vials. It's believed that cosmetic, small amounts of cosmetic powders were ground within the groove and there has been some analysis to show what these may have been. Minerals like galena, vermilion and lead white powder were used, even though some of them were toxic. Um, cosmetics, despite the disdain of Roman writers, boasted successfully successful trade and continued in use to this day.